Oh man, we're back. Ryan Diaz ZZP and the guy over here with a better beard than mine. I'm out. Today guys, we're gonna talk to you about Turbo Seals. So today, brought Al with me because you get a lot of questions throughout the week where, hey, you know, my turbo seals are blown up. Oh, I think my, my guy before me that bought the car, he blew the turbo seals. Guys, turbo seals are not exactly what you think they are. So today, Al's gonna come here with some props to really clear up what turbo seals actually are. Right, so this center cartridge here is actually out of a V3 turbo and this turbine shaft that I have here is out of a Z57. So what people would call the turbo seal is actually more like a piston ring. It, it kind of helps having one of the turbine shafts out so you can see the ring, see how it floats around in there. And then in this cartridge here, you can see where this ring actually sits. So it's it's almost identical to the rings on the piston inside of your engine. There is a tiny gap where the ends butt up. And so how the turbo keeps the oil from getting out is it relying on the pressure in the compressor housing and the turbine housing being higher than the pressure inside of the center cartridge here. As long as that's the case, which it's supposed to be always, then you always have a tiny bit of exhaust or boost actually leaking in and it keeps the oil in so that it can go down the drain hole. Now, anytime that you have something that causes the pressure inside of the bearing housing to be higher than what's outside, that's when you will get oil leaking out. Uh, one of the most common things that can cause this is your drain line being kinked up. Uh, the 1.4s and the Cobalts both have, uh, the factory drain line has like a foil around the outside of it and it's very easy for you to kink that while you're installing the turbo and then the foil outer lining will pop back and the actual tube inside will still be kinked. So we've had customers email us saying things like, uh, my mechanic looked and, and he saw that the seals were bad. Like, well, either you or your mechanic is not telling the whole truth here because you, first of all, you'd have to tear the turbo apart to even look at the rings. Second of all, they're, they're piston rings, they're not seals. Occasionally there is a case where the bearings go bad and the turbo starts to wobble around. That will cause this ring to not seat against the walls and not provide the sealing effect that it's designed to do. We really just wanted to give you guys a rundown on how these things actually work. So maybe you can like start using the correct terminology. Uh, but understanding how they work also helps you when you're diagnosing issues. If you have pressure in your crankcase, uh, that's probably the second most common thing. If you have a lot of blow-by in your engine, it will make your turbo smoke just because of the pressure in your crankcase pushing back up on the drain. The turbo could be completely fine. It could be a brand new turbo right out of the box and you'll have smoke because of the pressure that you have in the crankcase. We've seen that a lot. I mean, we have people send turbos in for warranty claims. We, we get them in, take them apart, check them out. Everything's perfectly fine. But since you know we do the right thing, we'll send them uh, a rebuild or a replacement. They put it on, oh, it's smoking right away. Well, you have pressure in your crankcase somewhere and that's what's causing your turbo to smoke. When you guys message us or email us, say, hey, my Z54 or my Z57 or my V3, it's smoking a bit. Do your normal things first. Make sure that everything is installed properly. Number two, make sure that your drain lines are not kinked. Can I tell you how many times that both myself, Al, or all the customer service team, that we have all seen, hey, I'm having issues with my turbo, I'm getting a lot of smoke, and then we say, check your drain line, and it's kinked. That can, that can cause a, lot, a little bit of damage in there and not make your turbo too happy. That's definitely the most common issue that we see. Exactly, and we tossed a lot of information at you today, but it's good that you guys can now understand what turbo seals actually are and how they work. They're sealing rings, they're not seals. There we go. So, I think that's good for this one. As usual, it's Ryan D at ZZP. And I'm Al. You can reach us at customerservice at zperformance.com and have a good day.